Welcome everybody, my name is Jesse and I am making this video to show you my new purchase. I bought this last week. They're, they are snap ring pliers made by Channel Lock. Uh, real quick, uh, they're made out of carbon steel uh, with corrosion resistant black oxide finish. Uh, they quickly convert with the use of <clears throat> this red switch quickly converts these pliers from external to internal pliers. Pretty cool, right? Back to external. One more time. Okay. Uh, so when you're using them on the internal setting, uh, the rings that you can work with, it's going to range from half an inch to two inches. And when you have it on the external, the rings uh, that you can work with are going to be from three eighths of an inch to two inches. Uh, they do include four other sets of heads or tips and also an Allen wrench. Uh, they are made in the USA. Part number is 927. I'm also gonna add a link to the manufacturer. And also I'm gonna set a link to uh, Home Depot. That's actually where I bought these. Uh, they were actually $30, they were not on sale. I think Amazon has them for cheaper. I would have used it. I would have bought them from Amazon, but I needed them right then and there. And I am actually really happy with these pliers. So the reason I bought these pliers is because I had bought, them. I had bought these pliers. These are from Harbor Freight. It came with an additional, well, a total of four different heads. The heads are interchangeable. All you have to do is remove this pin. This whole pin comes out. I was not happy with this purchase. If you look closely, you can see this head moving back and forth. It's kind of flimsy and all the heads do that. Um, and you cannot get a good grip on the on the rings, right? So what I was doing is I opened up the the head on this uh, ratchet where I was trying to, and I was trying to grab the the snap ring here, and it just slid off the ring, the two little holes, it slid off the ring, and a couple times it came off while the ring was halfway off. And the very last time I took it off, it ended up flying. It almost hit me. So if you're using these, I recommend using eye protection, which I am currently not using eye protection. You should always use eye protection, even if you're, you are confident in your tools. And this tool right here, I have no confidence in. So I purchased these from Harbor Freight. Uh, I was trying to take out the snap ring from a ratchet and that snap ring ended up flying. I lost it. I had to go back to Harbor Freight because I saw, the, saw these at Harbor Freight. So I'm like, okay, well, we've got to replace the ring now because of these pliers. So now I'm up eight or down eight and down another four. So I was really unhappy with those pliers, but then I got these. I decided to invest $30 and I am really happy. Uh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Make them back to external. Show you an example of what I'm talking about and how easy it is to remove these 
rings in and out. And back in. Sorry about that, kind of moved on me. You're gonna set those back in. Squeeze and bring them back to their location. Totally messed that up. Always on video, right? So that's back in, and that was on a on a uh, gear wrench, uh, 84 tooth, one quarter size. Let me show you on this Craftsman 44809. So not grabbing them right, but you grab, you squeeze, comes out really easy. And you set them back in. And I'll show you on this bigger gear wrench how easy it is. These are newer, so they're good. the rings are gonna be a lot stiff, stiffer than the other ones that are older. Squeeze, get a good, nice grip on there, and you can put it back. All right, it's really easy, right? So the lesson learned was don't buy cheap tools I'm not saying Harbor Freight sells cheap tools. They do sell cheap tools, but a lot of those tools are useful. For example, uh, their, their car jack, the uh, Daytona series, the Pittsburgh series, uh, both excellent car jacks. Uh, a lot of the stuff there is actually pretty good. So that's why I didn't hesitate to to buy these uh, snap ring pliers. But uh, I knew there was just something about them. They didn't look sturdy inside the package. And something else that stood out to me was Irwin. Irwin has a design just like this on their pliers, snap ring pliers. Just like that, same design from what it looks like inside the package it looks just like that and i love Ir Irwin. uh i'm a big Irwin fan so i was kind of hesitant to buy these channel lock brand pliers for instance uh, i got all kinds of Irwin pliers so i wanted to keep it all Irwin. just something i like to do uh, I only have three to four different brands I usually keep with and uh, also these uh, wire strippers are excellent I recommend those these to anybody uh, I'll probably make a video on these later let me know if you're interested uh, any feedback will help since this is a new channel but uh, like I was saying Harbor Freight does make a lot of good tools here's another one here's another good example this brawn light uh, magnetic it's got let's see one two three there's three settings and then the off button uh, excellent light I've had it for a good six months I haven't had any issues with them the, well there was one issue but you know what? I'm gonna make a video on that and you'll see it here shortly maybe I'll do it tomorrow so we'll see uh, that's a strong magnet on that light so uh, any feedback is gonna help if you can provide any feedback this like I said this is my first video so I'm looking forward to your comments I'm gonna read them see what I'm doing right see what I'm doing wrong so all right I look forward to hearing from all you guys all right thank you